Hi, my name is Jeanette LaCroix, and I'm going to tell you all about my ISTE lesson plan project. For this project, students are going to be working on a cross-curricular culminating project. Students will be working through science standards, math standards, writing standards, and speaking and listening skills. This lesson plan includes a culminating activity to be done over the course of a few days to a week. Students have been studying weather patterns and tracking weather patterns in Georgia over the month of February. Students will apply what they've learned based on what we have been doing together. They will be able to look at different areas of the United States to analyze and evaluate their weather patterns. They'll be using Georgia, Florida, Washington, DC, and Colorado. Students will research and create a weather calendar within the similar regards to one that we have been doing in class. They will then analyze the weather data they have been researching and create a tally graph to be uploaded within Seesaw. Again, another opportunity for me to make a formative assessment. Once they find their data, students will then take their information and create an informational writing piece about other states and other areas weather patterns. They will then be able to choose how they do their final product. For the management of this project, students will be working in small groups based upon levels of various pre-informative assessments. They will have small aspects of mixed ability groups within their small groups. Students within the groups will take on the role to ensure that all students are participating in the project and no one is sitting on the sidelines. Students will have the opportunity to take the role of communications liaison, who will communicate with the teacher, engineers who are responsible for the technology and materials, the project manager who collects and distributes those materials to the group, the architect who creates and is responsible for the group's plan or their blueprint, and the technology specialist. This person is in charge of troubleshooting within their group on any technology, software, or any issues they may have. With the designated roles the students possess, I will be able to monitor and walk around the room as a resource and let the students truly take control of their learning and their experience. I'll be able to move throughout the room and check in with students to assist, listen, and provide assistance when needed. My goal is to be in the background while students showcase their learning and facilitate their own work in a collaborative manner. Some of the tech tools that we will be using throughout this project include Seesaw, where the students will be able to log into their personal accounts to locate and utilize the tally chart for their group, and fill it in based on the information and weather patterns that they're finding on the weatherchannel.com where they will do their research. They'll also be able to upload their completed writing and or video presentations for other viewers in other classrooms, their parents, and other places around the world. Students will also be able to use Adobe Spark, Chatterpix, and Flipgrid to upload their final products as well. Students will utilize Google Tours at the beginning of our exploration to have a brief understanding of the states and areas in which they and their classmates will be studying weather patterns to give a basic foundational understanding of where everyone will be focusing their time. Also, this will give them a stronger global understanding of the United States and where the other states are in relation to Georgia. All of these resources will be provided in our Canvas page, our LMS, and students have been working throughout the year and know these technology pieces and resources and each student will or each group will utilize their tech specialist before asking for any additional help. Here is our Google tour. We'll start in Atlanta, Georgia, and then we will travel to the other places that students will be studying to get a little bit more background information on those areas. This is an example of our February calendar that we took together, and then the students will be given these Georgia, Florida, Colorado, Washington, D.C. calendars in order to chart their own data that they will research on the Weather Channel. Then they will go to Seesaw to find a personalized tally chart. So some of them regarded or based on what they need will have a filled in tally chart, some with prompts, some blank, so they can fill it in based on their needs. There will also be um, in our room some resources like this informational writing anchor chart to help the students stay on track and remember what we've gone over throughout the entirety of the unit. All right, below you will see some of the assessment tools that my students will use. They will have a couple different options and have some voice and choice in how they create their product. They'll be able to either have an enrichment opportunity to make a Spark video outlining the entire process of this project, or they'll be able to use Chatterpix or Flipgrid or oral reading of their informational writing. Students will have a clear and concise understanding of the directions and the resources throughout the rooms. 
There will be exemplars around the room as well as anchor charts for them to reference while they're working. Students will have a task list on the board while they're working through the assignment with their groups. They will work together through the aspects of the assignments as I walk around and facilitate and help to monitor their learning. I'll be asking guiding questions and higher order thinking questions as I circulate the room to ensure that all groups are participating and working on the right path. Students have gone through this process as a whole group, so the process of each component within this project should be familiar to them as they apply what they have learned throughout the unit. My questioning and observations will pose as formative assessments throughout this entire process. Different components and applications of the project will give me insight to their understandings of the concepts provided. Students will use success criteria to ensure their writing is adequate and has all parts of an informative writing piece. They have used this success criteria throughout the unit and will score themselves before I score their writing on the project that they turn in. Products will be differentiated based on student choice. They will also have a final project rubric and students to follow, will follow that rubric and be able to choose how to support themselves and work through the rubric piece. The writing piece will then be recorded or read aloud as their presentation. This research-based strategies that I wanna talk about, I focus mostly on the rigor and relevance framework as you can see in front of you. The learning environment for this assignment allows for collaboration with peers and working together for a common goal that is student-paced and directed. Students have the voice and choice throughout their project while understanding, applying, analyzing, and evaluating weather patterns of their specific area and their findings for real world predictable outcomes. Students will be doing a majority of their work in their groups to collaborate and work together to solve any problems or questions they may have. Provided to the students in their prior knowledge and their learning objectives and outcomes, they will be given clear directions and expectations. Students are creating a presentation in order to teach others about what they have learned across disciplines from weather patterns, tally charts, informational writing, and speaking and listening skills. Students will also be able to provide feedback to their peers using glows and grows once presentations are complete, as they have been doing throughout the school year. This lesson falls within the Quad D on the Rigor and Relevance Framework and possesses multiple opportunities for higher order thinking throughout questioning, process, and product. My role throughout the project is to facilitate meaningful conversations and to promote the learning experience through the creation of their end product. My goal is to become a resource if needed for students, but for them to take ownership and be the role or take the role of explorer and teacher within their groups and for their end product. Throughout the use of their visual tools and digital tools, students will be able to showcase their knowledge, understanding, and application of all of these tools and all of the concepts we have been focusing on. They'll be able to then share their findings and their work in a creative and original way. Thank you for listening to my lesson and I can't wait to implement it again soon.